Hello all, so we're running this electrical on the outside of this trailer since we're trying to just bypass the wiring that's in the trailer. So I'd just make a quick video on, on how you go about doing it. And we're basically just using this half inch EMT conduit. We're going up to these boxes and then we're gonna, we drill them straight in. We're going straight into the, to the inside unit where another box is gonna be and we're gonna put outlets. And basically you just need this half inch EMT. I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. You need watertight fittings. These just screw in right here. You're going to need a pipe bender to bend to bend the EMT. And you got to use a tape measure and do all that. There's some good videos on that. And then we're just going to go into the sub panel that we got over here. The sub panel is just wired into the main outlet box. So however you want to do that, you might just have your electrical panel right at your trailer. You might not. This one's on a pole about 100 feet away. So we're just wiring it in this way. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to make some more video on it. Basically, just want to show you how you can wire in electrical and just bypass the trailer's old electrical that's inside of there. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're getting ready to bend a piece of pipe. I'm just doing this to, as an example, just to show you how it is. You need a pipe bender and you need to come in and you need to bend it. Here, go ahead, bend it. And you need to measure where your bends are gonna be. Like I said, there's some good YouTube videos on how you go about doing this. And so that's basically it. I'm just showing how this pipe is bent. And you're also gonna have these watertight compression fittings. And these, this is what slides onto the end. Like I said, I'm going to put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. Basically, these just slide on. This side goes in an electrical box. This goes on to the other side. I'll keep showing you over there, but I just wanted to show you basically that it's pretty simple the way this is all going together. So I'll be right back. So this is where we're at. We got this run coming down to a box here. It's going to go straight in. We're going to put an outlet right here. We got it running in into the sub panel. And then we're running. We're just going to keep going down. Now we're down to another box. There's an outlet inside here. They're actually old outlets that they were using before. And they're plastic. We're just going to go and use those. And we're just going to keep going on down, on down the wall. And so that's where we're at. And I'll be right back. And so I'm getting ready to pull some wires through this small section right here down to the box which is pretty simple to do. You just use this fish tape and you just feed it through on one side, you feed it through, you wrap it around, you wrap it around inside of a loop right here, you tape it and you pull it through. And so I'm basically just gonna pull my wire through down to over here. So that's where I'm at. All right, so I got the wire pulled through here. I just pulled it on through and, and basically that's what we're gonna have to do through the whole thing. Just gonna have to pull this wire through to each outlet so that's where i'm at right now and just to give you an idea of what's going on inside the trailer there's boxes these are these are some older boxes they already had here and this is what they want to use these so we're going to go and use them they're okay they're plastic boxes i need to clean out all this foam that was in there a lot better so we're going to go and use these but basically you want to get a box on every location where you're coming on the inside and so here's one and one problem we did run into is the bathroom. We didn't want to put an outlet over there. So we're going to run in and we're going to come in right over here. We're going to put a box right here. And here's another outlet that we're going to be using. Again, it was already here. We're going to be using it. But basically that's it. We're going to be putting boxes in every single room where we need outlets. And so this is basically what's going on on the inside. All right. So we got our conduit run and we got the wire pulled to each box, basically every box. So there's a box on the inside. Where, where this is going. So we got the wired run here. This is the bathroom where that long, long one is. We're gonna have to pull into there. And coming along, just to show you where we're at, another box on the inside, another box on the inside, and all the way around. So that's where we're at. We got all the outside conduit run, got the wire pulled. Next step, we gotta start hooking it up. So I'll be back. So I need to add in a box right here. So I'm going to go and add one in. And there's different types of boxes you could buy. You can just mount these on the outside like this. These have little sides that you could slide in. And then once they're in, you could pop them out. They come in on the other side of the wall. And then you tighten down these screws. Or you could just put them in and screw them in, which I think I'm going to do on this one. So there's different ways you can mount the boxes on the inside. And this is just how I'm doing it at this location. And so here's this inside box installed. Like I said, there's different ways of installing these boxes. You can just mount it on the outside if you want to. But right here, I went in and cut inside the wall, inserted it right in there. And so I'm just gonna keep going and finish up some more boxes. 
Okay, so we're done on the outside, and before we button it up, I just wanted to walk, do a walkthrough to show you what it looks like. We've got all our wires going into the inside. Going inside box. This is the bathroom where we had to make a little bit of a long run. Another box. And this, these are the covers. We're going to be putting these on next. And we're running up and around. This is going into the kitchen. And basically what we did, we got one, two, three on one breaker. And then we have the rest on another breaker. And everything's running into the sub panel. This right here, this right here is for this mini split that's out here that they're using. So that's here. And then we have, so we got two breakers, one for the kitchen and this outlet, that outlet, and then all the rest are going to this other breaker. And so that's basically it outside. I'm going to be buttoning it up next and then we're going to go inside and, and install the outlets. So I'll be back. And so now we're just putting the outlets in, just connecting them and going to add on our plates. That's basically where we're at right now. Just going through, we're going to install all the outlets and put all these face plates on and pretty much finish up the inside. Okay, so I got it in there. I got the face plate on. And like I said, that's all we're doing. We're just going down to each one of these. And here's the bathroom. Here's how that bathroom turned out. Turned out pretty good. This is that long run that we had to go. We got to get some caulking for that and, and fix that where we drilled through. And we come over. We also need to go get a GFI. We forgot to get the GFI. But we hooked up a regular outlet just for testing. But if you do run an outlet to the bathroom, you need to get a GFI inside of bathrooms or wherever there's water. But the bathroom turned out pretty good. Here's another outlet inside the living room. And, and we had two of these outlets inside the living room. Here's where the refrigerator's going. And here's the kitchen. So we're basically finished up inside. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a basic video on how you go about wiring up outside electrical on a mobile home or a shed or anything like that. Anything outside and you need it to be waterproof. This is basically how you go about doing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.